I met one of the most charismatic professors of my entire life, probably one of the most charismatic people I'll ever meet. And he really got me hooked. He made me realize that radiation's all around us. It's something we understand and we can prove, but we can't hear it or see it or smell it. And that was just such an interesting concept to me and figuring out the way it works with all these weird little quantum mechanics. It's just really interesting to see this thing that is all around us and no one really knows about. My team consists of a couple health physicists. We deal with a lot of the nuclear stuff here at Helion. That includes um, nuclear diagnostics, fuel cycle, uh, radiation safety, of course, as well as a couple other things. Uh, we really work on making sure that everything surrounding Polaris is being practiced safely, rigorously, according to best practices, most up-to-date literature, using some of the most cutting-edge technology in the world, and developing a lot of really great practices around uh, something that's still new and exciting and in development. Right now, my team and I are working on getting Polaris's fuel up and running. We're so excited to introduce all of these really exciting nuclear measures around uh, tritium and to make sure that everything is taken care of from the state side, but also from the person side, to make sure all of our staff are well taken care of. I think one of my favorite moments I've had so far here at Helion was um, the implementation of our tritium processing lab. So many teams have been working together to get this online for so long. Make sure we're doing everything by the book, very rigorously. After seeing it come together, we actually got to get tritium on site and see it go into place and watch all of our systems work exactly the way they were designed to, watch our team respond to things exactly the way they were trained to. Everyone has been so prepared and so incredible. Having a tritium processing facility is really interesting and it's very hard to do. <laughs> to make sure that it's super safe and we're doing everything by the book, there are a couple of safety protections we put in place. I think the most important thing to remember when you're building a lab like this is to make sure that you've got a negatively pressured environment. That means that you're sucking the air in and that all of the outside air just wants to come in. If you have that in effect, that means that your tritium can't leak out because it's fighting against all that air. Once it's in, we filter it through a couple of different systems and then that goes out the stack and it goes so high up that it gets into a concentration where it can't reasonably um, affect anyone. Radiation is all around us. It's used for things like cancer treatments and really cool imaging of like the human body. So it's about giving people reference points that they can really relate to. It's about giving them their dose in things like bananas and flights and days living in Denver. Things that are very mundane, but it is a mundane background part of our lives. It's just like anything else, it's something that you have to learn to control so you can use it in an elevated setting like we are, but that doesn't make it any less natural.